Hi there, welcome to end to end solution architect session. Today I will show that how can you create the subscription. Most of the time what happens that uh, just after logging into a brand new Azure portal, you find that you are unable to create any resources. So at this moment you see that I have logged in with my credential the very first time into Azure portal and suppose I want to uh, go for a virtual machine to create it is asking me uh, to go for that select the plan for the trial or something else okay and if you go to active directory that time so let's go to active directory where basically you have the tenant created if i go to manage tenants i don't have any organization over it okay and if i try to create any organization also or the plus create button is disabled. So my first thing will be create the subscription because until I create the subscription, it will not allow me to create any resources in Azure. Well, so I see that I have this start with an Azure free trial. That's fine. And how it says that get $200 free credit towards Azure products and services plus 12 months of popular free services. I click on start and it is asking me uh, to go for this build the cloud with Azure the start free or pay as you go. Okay, I'm just uh, closing this window for this feedback. Now uh, start free clicking on start free or pay as you go. So uh, this time uh, I'm clicking on pay as you go and to show you that how you can add the billing details. Pay as you go with Azure plus get free services that's fine get started it is asking me to create a profile so i am uh, filling up this online profile you see that country first name last name email address and phone number i'm just filling it and uh, will be submitting uh, just after that adding payment information over here now after adding the payment information it is asking for to add the technical support we don't need any technical support at this point. So clicking on sign up saying confirming your information, setting up your account. Well, it took me to 404 page not found, but uh, give me a refresh and find that actually it has added uh, my subscription here or not. And I see that it has actually added. So if I go this time, uh, the virtual machine, I see that it is allowing me to create. So it means that the subscription has been added successfully the way we added. Okay. So let's uh, look for the active directory, select active directory. We have the active directory, uh, click on manage account, manage tenants. So we see that our organization, the first organization has been added over here. Okay. Now, if you want to add multiple tenant or multiple organization. This is the way that you click over this plus create icon and create multiple tenant. What is the tenant type you need? Is it the as your active directory or as your active directory B2C? Okay, so in most of your cases, it will be as your active directory and uh, you just click over review or create or if you want to go for this uh, review plus create or uh, next, it means that it is asking for a name. So you, you will add your, uh, uh, suppose it is a demo org, your initial demo um, uh, domain name it will ask. So if you have any domain name or company domain name, you will add over here. It is asking your location. So in my case, it is Canada. I'm selecting this Canada and you will just simply review and uh, create. Okay, at this moment, I am not creating this. So let me take you to the subscription. This is how we create the tenant. And this time we will check the subscription. So let's search for the subscription. So here is the subscription. We selected the subscription and I see that there is one subscription added. Okay. And uh, this is the payment details we have added. So the subscription has been created automatically when we uh, selected the pay as you go plan. Now you can create multiple subscription. Okay, and why we create multiple subscription? It is for the cost analysis. How much a group of resource is costing you? So suppose you have five projects. Okay, you want to 
understand that what is the cloud cost for your each projects. Then better you create five subscriptions separately. For each project, you tag subscription separately. So once you actually try to analyze the cost of every project, you can separately understand, okay, project one has cost of suppose $4,000. Project two has cost of $1,000 like that but if you create one subscription and put your multiple project into that it is very hard to understand that which project took more cost or where you have to do the cost analysis or cost optimization okay so let's click on add for the subscription adding new subscription it is simply that you uh, give a name demo subscription suppose i'm giving a name what is the billing account the billing account, billing profile and invoice section. It is basically your credit card detail. The profile it has created in the beginning when I selected pay as you go. So it is basically asking that, okay, you are creating a new subscription. That's good. But uh, from which credit card you will pay for this subscription? So you have to select that billing account, billing profile and invoice selection. And at the last, you have the plan where it says that select as your plan to determine subscription type to create. At this time, we have this Microsoft as your plan selected. And at this moment, I am not creating this, but going to this advanced part where it has the subscription directory management group. I will come to the management group and the subscription owner. There is always one owner for the subscription. Okay. So Next, go to budget part. It is asking that, okay, you create a budget for this subscription. So it says that the alert condition, suppose you create a subscription for your um, personal learning purpose and you don't want to overshoot your billing more than $50 or $10, suppose. So you add this amount in your uh, currency, suppose $10 or $100 like that. And you give a... Uh, name for this budget suppose it is monthly budget like this okay now you can see uh, now you can create the alert condition and it is asking that send alert when 100 percent of alert amount has been crossed so what i usually do i put it here 80 percent so once the 80 percent has been reached for this budget then it should give me an alert and I can take the decision whether I should go or I should optimize my services, which services to stop because it is about to overshoot my budget. Okay. Now you can go to tag, add some tags. Tags means that suppose your project and the name of the project. Okay. And then this is the review create. So this is how you can create one subscription on a means new sub subscription at this moment i am not creating new subscription but let me take you to a service suppose we are creating a virtual machine and how we actually tag the subscription okay so let's search vm or virtual machine okay here we are now clicking on create virtual machine you see that the first option in the virtual machine form is the subscription you have to select the subscription and it is the drop down menu currently we have one subscription at uh, the second subscription i didn't create it so you select the subscription suppose you have five subscription for five projects and this is the virtual machine you are creating for project two so you will select the subscription two okay so your virtual machine for project two will be built in subscription to okay this is as simple as that okay and now let's go to management group what is management group so here it is management group now management group is required as the name says that it is management groups what it means is that when you have multiple subscription at this very moment i have one subscription only but in practical case you will have more than one, maybe 10, 50 uh, subscription even in a big enterprise organization. Okay, that time you need the management group. Management group means it is the logical group 
of multiple subscription you can put together and create a group and you can add some policy in the management group okay so what why we create this management group it is to manage multiple subscription basically okay and secondly that a management group can have policy as well as nested management group so a management group can hold another management group as child okay so it is asking that no management group to display start using management group so if i click over this management group it is asking me to create management group okay suppose i'm a management group demo group and you simply submit that okay at this moment i am not submitting it do not want to create the management group or for this account it is a demo account only so but you create the management group and just give a name and a group id and the group id you cannot change it just after creating you can see uh, change update the display name that's fine uh, but the group id you cannot you just simply click on submit and the management group will be created so we have learned in this session that how we can actually set our pay as you go for the first time after creating or logged in um, to our azure portal secondly how we can create the subscription multiple subscription and once we created the multiple subscription how we can create the resource and point to those uh, subscription and why we require actually multiple subscription and Finally, we understood that what is the purpose for management group, why it is used and how it is connected with uh, um, subscription. You can manage multiple subscription by management group. Okay, hope you have learned about this Active Directory management group subscription in Azure portal. Now in this session, I will show you that suppose you have your uh, Active Directory organization or the tenant created and subscription created and you want to delete it because for some reason whether you are not using that account or you do not in, uh, want to use that uh, tenant you have another tenant or you are, you want to completely remove the tenant and subscription okay so first thing is you go to your Active Directory select Active Directory click manage tenants Suppose this, it is your default uh, directory. It happens that for your learning purpose, you have created this subscription or this organization, the tenant, and uh, after learning, you want to simply uh, delete this. Okay, so you selected this and click on delete. It will show you here the number of action it will actually perform. Okay, when you are actually deleting this uh, default directory. And one of them is actually not green. So that's why delete all as your subscription so click over that it will take you to the subscription and you have the default first subscription you have to delete that so click on the as your subscription and click on cancel subscription okay select a reason for cancellation suppose i am selecting just just learning about the platform and click on cancel subscription so it says that as your subscription one uh, has been cancelled the status is cancelled now click over subscription okay we still see the subscription now we have cancelled the subscription right so you select the subscription over here and you see that there are two options over here one is reactive and another is delete so it means that the subscription you cancelled you can reactivate it or completely delete it now if you want to keep this subscription cancelled it means that no services can be provisioned and click on delete so it's saying manually delete your subscription delete resources complete manual delete manual deletion date to minimize the business impact there is a three day waiting period for deletion you can manually delete this subscription in three days so you cannot delete your subscription right now so it will take three days after you initiate the deletion and it has mentioned that your subscription was cancelled and is not incurring charges if not manually deleted your data will be automatically deleted to manually delete your subscription and data complete the following two steps so we don't have any resources to delete that is green and the manual deletion date 
so since we have deleted today so it will take three business days mostly for as a waiting period and after that it will be automatically deleted so this is how you can delete the subscription and uh, if we go back to our active directory once again we had the tenant selecting the active directory default and clicking on delete so again it listed the actions and it's saying that delete all azure subscription because it will take three days for deleting the azure subscription at this moment you cannot uh, delete the uh, tenant okay so this is how it works no problem after three days i will delete uh, this uh, tenant and in your case also you will be able to delete thank you for your time see you in our next session